I misunderstood. Yeah, but you were like a kid, so you were just watching a baseball movie and exactly. I liked Brendan Fraser. That was it. Yeah, I thought it was George of the Jungle. I I thought it was Airheads. Yeah, (laughs) that's the thing too. Was the 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 movie was kind of goofy, not funny. There was goofy moments, and then trying to be serious moments and it just didn't work together they were no funny it was goofy no. tissue it was like if if johnny's one of johnny depp's outfits was a movie that's what <laughs> this <laughs> <feels> like <laughs> nothing matched no yeah. connection to shoe <laughs> nothing really goes together or makes sense but but it's interesting to look at a little i guess i did not enjoy anything like my notes were um plus two for the barbecue cow hoof being eaten in the stands at uh, oh yeah the the game with where al found steve nebraska um i said the script does not hold up uh i said i hate this movie was one of my notes oh wow (laughs) and i can't believe for something so mediocre so like nothing like such a nothing movie was fought so hard for yeah. like this was fought for a decade to get this movie made and then thinking why yeah and then we, the one other thing we didn't mention music by bill conti who did the rocky soundtrack oh, yeah just like big names yeah I mean, to a degree even, nothing manifested from that yeah well it didn't have 14 music montages like hustle did which i felt was a bit much like I remember the first one was so great because we're like, oh, right. Like they're getting us right in line with the story, like you said, Amber. And then like they did the one training montage and I was like, sweet. And then there was like three more after that. And I was like, now they're just being lazy. Like it doesn't make sense to have that many montages. Just get us through. It could have cut, you know, 15 minutes out of the movie and we would have gotten it. Like we knew he was training and Adam Sandler, they were forming that relationship. But do we need three extra montages they're budget they're budget friendly that's why they do them that's that's why every time you watch the baywatch episode there's always a music montage in a baywatch episode i love a good montage but you don't need more than two yeah when yeah like that was my really my only big critique about the hustle i had like a few nitpick things but overall i had such a positive response because i thought there were some really really smart choices mm-hmm. made like i said like the opening montage super super smart but i thought mm-hmm. there was some great uh great direction which you know like just this shot selection so like when um there's a when we're introducing the big bad which says like that bratty kid adam sandler is is walking out of the main office where he's just realized that if he wants this assistant coaching job he needs to make this this scouting thing happen he needs to find that star player and he's walking like smaller towards larger towards camera right he's walking towards us and in the foreground you get this like the most expensive hood ornament attached to a car that drives right in front of scene in the foreground right in front of Adam Sandler it literally is blocking and framing him in the frame but it actually is blocking him and that's when we get that snotty rich kid stepping out of the car it's like really sweet choices when we first meet um Wancho's character I think he's Bo Cruz in the film when we first meet Bo we're introduced to his character by a shot solely on his feet so we see mm-hmm. that he's on a basketball turf mm-hmm. or or concrete, and you see that he's wearing like work boots. Yeah. And then and then you pan over to see somebody else's feet who's wearing basketball sneakers, and then you cut wide to see who these characters are. So much is said in just those tiny bit of tw- you can introduce a character in so many ways, but this let us know all right, this um this guy is poor. He doesn't have the appropriate gear for playing basketball. And that's such a great way of just instead of- But also that he has even more obstacles or disadvantages that he has to overcome than these other kids. Like he's still that good. Yeah. Yeah. 